In this lesson, we'll be discussing the structures and properties of fatty acids. Question 1 reads, consider the line angle structural formula for vicinic acid, a fatty acid found in dairy products and human milk. For question A, why is this substance an acid? Before I answer this question, take a good look at this molecule. You'll notice a double bond right here, and you'll notice a carboxyl group at the end of the molecule. This long chain of carbons is called the hydrocarbon tail. When we include this carbon double bonded to this oxygen, the carbonyl group, that's the fatty acyl group, and the whole molecule itself is called a fatty acid. The reason why this is called an acid is because of this carboxyl group. The hydroxyl gives rise to its acidic properties by donating its hydrogen in various reactions. In question B, how many carbon atoms are in vicinic acid? Well, if we count, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and don't forget this last one, 18. For question C, is the fatty acid saturated, monounsaturated, or polyunsaturated? A fatty acid saturated when it doesn't have any double bonds. And as you can tell, it has a single double bond right here. So, because it has one double bond, we call it monounsaturated. In question D, give the shorthand notation for the number of carbon atoms and double bonds in vicinic acid. When it comes to writing the shorthand notation, we start by writing out the number of carbons. We have 18, and then followed by the number of double bonds. We have one double bond, so 18 to 1, and then the position of that double bond. For this, we start counting from the carboxyl group. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We can write down 11 like this, or you can even write down delta 11. And it's important to note that in some literature, the 11 is written as a superscript. So it would be delta 11, and instead of this semicolon, we would have a comma. Let's continue on with question E. Is it most likely to be a solid or liquid at room temperature? Whenever you have double bonds in a fatty acid, it attributes to its liquid state. So this is most likely a liquid, than a solid. Would it be soluble in water? To a very small extent, yes, due to the carboxyl group, but because the hydrocarbon tail is so long and nonpolar, water molecules and fatty acids are not attracted to each other, so don't expect this to dissolve in water. So no, this will not be soluble in water. Moving on to question number two, this time we have polymetoleic acid. It's a fatty acid with the following condensed structural formula. How many carbon atoms are in polymetoleic acid? So we'll start by counting this carbon, and then we have CH2 with this subscript 5, which means 5 carbons. So 1 plus 5 is 6, 7, 8, another 7 of those makes it 15, 16. So we have 16 carbons. Is this fatty acid saturated, monounsaturated, or polyunsaturated? Well, we have only a single double bond, so it is monounsaturated. Give the shorthand notation for the number of carbon atoms and double bonds in palmitoleic acid. So we have 16 in total, and the number of double bonds is 1, comma, and it happens, starting from over here, that's 8 altogether, 9. So we can write down delta 9, that's the position of the double bond, and is it most likely to be solid or liquid at room temperature? As mentioned before, because of this double bond, it's most likely to be a liquid. And there you have it. That is how to interpret the structure and properties of fatty acids.